After a 5-1 and one start in A-10 play, the Duquesne Dukes, are they still the hunters or are they the hunted? Keith Dambrot says they're still hunting, but they've got something if they win today that everybody, including VC, will be looking for. First place in the A-10. Welcome to the Palumbo Center on the campus of Duquesne University. I'm Tim Benz with Ellis Cannon as we get ready for the Rams and the Dukes. Brandon Wade is a guy that coach has known for a long time. Trust him, he's on the spot today by Weathers, who Ellis profiled in the open. is becoming more and more consistent as A-10 play has moved along, and the first bucket of the game goes to VCU as Santos Silva gets on the board for the Rams. He's able to close out on Van before he triggers. Big body matchup here with Santos Silva and Hughes, and Santos Silva has his second bucket, and he, Michael Hughes lost about 25 to 30 himself. Santos Silva lost 40 before the start of his freshman season. And they still sell him at 250. And a three-point jump shot is good. They're able to break through. Good look underneath for Jenkins, and Van pays it off, and right away, the Rams answer back. And for VCU, first substitution for them, and you've got 11 guys who have played in 16 of their 19 games. Yes, and it's the style, and the coach talked to you about that, and the need to be able to have that many uh, players. To fought really hard to try to get out of the Toledo area. Three-time Toledo area player of the year. Gets an offensive rebound here, puts it up, and puts two into the stack column. Make it difficult. That's why the Dukes taking advantage when they can is critical. And VC already in the bonus of the stripe, and they gave that foul to Eric Williams, actually, Ellis, and that's big because that's his third and that three-pointer from yesterday. Painful, but he'll be able to go through it, they think. Mm. Good left-handed dribble there as he crosses back over. No ill effects shown on that handle. Hunters instead gets a return oh. pass and lays it in. But easy threes either, especially with Dunn Martin arcing them over tight defense, drawing fouls. And speaking of which, that's exactly what Santo Silva did. They're going back to the well there. He started hot and first time he's gone up for a shot in a bit. But. I like this guy a lot. I told you he made a really, really big jump. I mean, He's averaging only nine points, but there's so much beyond, beyond that. He had off-season wrist surgery, came back. He's just, he's a very athletic guy, very soft hands, nice feet. He can board. In transition, here's Evans, takes it all the way, pinned up for a moment by Frankie Hughes, mm. follow rebound drops for Williams. Uh, with a 33% average from the arc. Now Williams goes baseline oh. around Bazo. Hard, strong move from Williams, and he picks up the foul on Bazot. Duquesne will have to settle for a two-point lead going into halftime. 41 to 39, the score throughout the course of halftime. It's alumni day. But the left finished it off. Good play, good start. Dukes are the top team in the A-10 when it comes to stealing the ball. A lot of that is carry. Out. Came in with 129, that's tops, and he's killer on offensive boards. Michael Hughes gets the block. Duquesne also number one when it comes to block. Second effort, though, for Santos Silva. Make it a third, making another basket. Yeah, they, Rams. Unusual, they've been pounding inside since uh, this half started. And Weathers gets blocked by Santos Silva, who's doing it all right now for VCU. Started the first half strong, starts the second half very hot as well at both ends. Evans will jack up a three and hit it. And VCU goes back up in front by more than that, doesn't it, Tim? Yeah, and everybody feels comfortable bringing the ball up in this offense that's, to it appears. Santo Silva point. up and under. There's no answer there, folks. And the next thing you know, he's going to moat, and the crowd's going to get nuts. Fourth foul against the Rams in this half. Air ball from Hughes. Hasn't been able to find it here in the second oh. half. The way he did the first, and in transition, it's Jenkins. That was nasty. Lost the midcourt stripe before he does anything to get in the offense. Bird harasses him right near the Duke's bench. Reach around from Santo Silva. is able to bat it free to Bird. And a good pass from Bird to Jenkins, who gets his second slam in the past couple of minutes. Williams has picked up the production a bit here in the second half. Now up to six points in the game. Oh boy, and Jenkins is feeling it now. Yeah. He, uh, crowd getting antsy here as Hughes try to pass to hit the rim, and that triggers out a break the other way. Williams gets around Frankie Hughes, a little shovel pass to Santos Silva, who finishes. Oh, maybe just don't call the first one, right? You're right. Yep. Oh, that's oh. not hanging at all. Oh, it's the kiss. Oh. It, then Martin, one of those Akron transfers that came with Keith Dambrot and really paid it off here. Baseline move from Mike L. Sims. Connor Sherry situation, you know, let him know a year in. Three point, and BCU on the foul on the three pointer like they've had whistled against them. They'll get it anyway. Well, not a three, but a two plus one from Santos Silva. It's more of an NBA stat, but that's been in his favor since he's been inserted. 
Evans banks it off the window. Soft. Well, they need stops, and he's given them that at least. Van with the crossover, finds Santos Silva. Pick up 12 from the floor. He's also perfect from the free throw line, and turnover from Wade. Then Martin coming right back in again, an easy lane for Jenkins. Travel, they don't get the whistle. And then Evans content to wind a little clock here for the Rams as we hit the four minute mark. And actually, might try to get Santos Silva back in, but those haven't checked in before the next dead ball anyway. As Evans finishes off the drive, well, actually, actually Hughes is fourth. Inbound pass to Van, steal by Dun Martin. Van goes down, and now there's a tie up, but a, and now there's a push afterwards. Starting to get nasty here. Michael Hughes, a little extracurricular after the whistle, shooting the puck a second after the whistle. Uh, but here we go, he's down. So Van calls for timeout, that's where it's awarded, and then you see Michael Hughes on the yep. way up was sort of pulling him, and then he got shoved. Van with the pass over to Evans, has plenty of room, adjust the shot with the layup. He that's did. an important pair right there for VCU. He, and the ball being turned over by Hughes and more about the pass that led to it. He was very much exclusively talking on. A lot of guys getting extra time. Pretty impressed with VCU. I mean, they have the look, they have the bodies. You know, some teams, regardless of sport, they just have guys that look like they're where they belong. And this, this outfit is, is certain. And for Dunn Martin, that's his fifth. So Wade will have to finish out the duties at the point guard position. And Williams, he'll go up without the foul. And those be cosmetic on the board as VCU will dribble it out from here. 80 to 74, the final score as the Rams come to the Palumbo Center and end the five-game win streak for Duquesne. Duquesne falls to 5-2 and two in conference play, and the Rams improve to 5-2. and two.